event is Open Stage. That's the one what's bringing together people from very different faiths, different cultures, different uh, nationalities, uh, and also of different um, uh, economical classes and so on. We also have had uh, people from Christianity, uh, Hindus, uh, Buddhists, um, atheists, and one of the other guy who is also organizing the event or doing hosting of the event with me, he is uh, of Jewish uh, origin and uh, so it's, it's all a kind of a, a mashup of the different people and different ideas of life and God. We blend together people who are experienced uh, poets and who are completely amateurs. Usually we have um, 17 to 20 uh, people who perform. Uh, we give like 10 minutes for every person. And the uh, crowd is um, together with these 20 people approximately uh, 50 to 90. The Human Library uh, idea originates from uh, Denmark and now goes uh, worldwide and uh, its idea is to promote and enhance uh, open dialogue in a safe and honest environment where people are ready to challenge the stereotypes of the society. People who are ready to tell their stories are so-called human books that uh, create for themselves some kind of uh, name of the book and a short uh, summary which we later put in the catalog to be available for uh, past buyers or whoever wants to visit the event as readers and uh, during the event they just talk about uh, readers ask questions whatever they want to learn about uh, the given human books and uh, those who are in the role of books just answer and uh, like that we all see that in the end we're all people under whichever stereotypes we're hiding, we're still a people. We had 27 books in uh, each of our two uh, events. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big event, so at the moment it, it happens uh, like occasionally and we're planning maybe to do it uh, so far once in maybe uh, three months, but so later maybe it will be more often. Besides books and volunteers, uh, there could be around uh, 100 if not more people attending, just from the general public. For people who are books, we had quite many people, uh, they're just not ready to talk about it. They're not ready to talk about their stories because they feel like there will be a lot of judgment and uh, still stereotypes and discrimination. But maybe after seeing that other people are ready and willing to talk about their stories and meet no prejudices and uh, have a positive experience, more people will be ready to talk. Actually, the best moment was the preparation of the first human library, which was in the uh, end of February. For me, uh, preparing it, meeting people, uh, reaching out for people, asking them to participate, asking them whether they have someone uh, whose story would be interesting, it has really widened my own point of view. I've met so many interesting people in such short time, it was really mind-blowing. Uh, one of the projects of UPF is the Ambassadors for Peace initiative which means the uh, leaders of the society, academicians, politicians, media, religious leaders, youth leaders, the, who show the example of living for the sake of others, uh, they get the, the appointment of ambassadors for peace. So from that time until now, in Albania we have uh, around 1,500 ambassadors for peace. Uh, the initiatives with the young people so uh, young people as, as this workshop is going on now uh, we have about 100 people there so the title of this workshop is the power of the culture of heart so uh, they're going to be there two weeks like 15 days together from different backgrounds different religions but then studying the same thing and creating a, like, uh, like being one family, going beyond the boundaries that divide us.
we work with education of human rights uh, uh, amongst the anchor, uh, youngsters. So what we try is to make uh, people aware of their rights, young people, what uh, the laws. So they can be inclusive participants of democ democracy. Like what democracy offers us. It's a system, of course, governance, we have choices, but we also have power. And the power is amongst young people because they are the future of my country. I've had uh, people in training or participants in, in simple workshops like this one, even in schools, that they were like, you know, I had no idea that when I was joking with this person, it hurted him. You cannot change a person with a two, three days, one week, ten days seminar. This person has a cultural background, traditions, stigmas that were in, included in his life or forced into his life by his parents, so you cannot really change that. But the, the, the small change that we do in each person is at least make them doubt those stigmas, you know? Work about it, search, and see other people from different backgrounds. I've been part of the organization for one year now. I've been part in many trainings. One of them was even interreligious dialogue which uh, got me to know more about other religions, not just the main ones, like, for example, Christianity, Orthodox. I think it's uh, my uh, organization gives the youth the opportunity to find themselves, to develop the knowledge and to not judge, because, you know, the thing is that we do not uh, have a lot of uh, opportunities to know people. The main scope of it is like the unification, unification, or like letting the others, or understanding the others. So I think it's the best opportunity for people to develop themselves or to learn new things. Nous avons une initiative il y a six ans, mais cette année il, il sera la cinquième édition du, du Festival Choral de Tirana, qui sera développé le dernier week-end de septembre. Et chaque année, il y a un thème euh, différent. L'année passée, il a été pour la jeunesse. Euh, il y a deux ans que nous avons fait pour la multireligion. Et cette année aussi, c'est de nouveau le, le thème de multireligion. Ça veut dire que nous, nous accueillerons des, des chorales d'Israël, de, euh, de Chorale grégorien de l'Italie, de Croatie avec de l'influence de la musique russe. Il y, a, il y aura un chorale de Autriche, un chorale de, de, de Budapest, de Hongrie et de, de, de Hollande, de Netherlands. Naturellement, on, ils sont présents aussi les, les chorales de de la, de la cathédrale de Skodra et le, le choral des, des jeunes garçons de la mosquée de Tirana et aussi euh, le choral euh, de lycée artistique de l'école de la musique de Tirana que c'est notre partenaire principal euh, dans ce festival. Il y a environ de 300 choristes hein. et on va présenter chacun, chacun choral une, sa culture. Et il y a, c'est une expression de Karl Flech, c'est un esthète et aussi un grand musicien allemand qui disait il y a quelque chose de plus beau que la beauté, la diversité. Mmh.